वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग टूटोरियल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेनिंग इन डिटेल्स ऑन टू दूम रोथरी रूल्स सो बेसिकली ह्यूम रोथरी इट विल बी वर्क ऑन टू द सोल्यूबिलिटी ऑफ द मेटालिक आय पर्टिक्युलरली फॉर द बायनरी सिस्टम्स सो हाउ दैट बोथ द मेटल्स इट विल बी मिक्स विथ ईच अदर और कैन से डिजोल्व in each other and to form the new material so you can say new solid solution material so how it will be going to be mixed with each other and to forms the new materials that will be depends upon the certain factors so that factors it will be evaluated by the hume rothrys so that factor it will be called as a hume rothrys rules so now let us start so solid solution in an alloy of two or more elements where the atomic crystal structure of the alloying elements like uh, you can say that it will be the solute is same as that of the base metal matrix of the solvent so basically this theory it will be depends upon the solid solution theory so in case of the solid solution theory it will be depends upon the atomic size of the solute and solvent so solute that will be representing as a small amount of alloying element which will be added into the basic structure so the basic structure it will be called as a solvent so in simple way whatever you want to add with the small proportion into the higher size of the proportions so that small amount it will be act as a solute and the more number of atomic structure it will be called as a solvent so by the addition of the solute into solvent and it forms the new materials and that will be called as a new solid solution material so generally that will be depends upon the two characteristics one the solubility limit of the solute into the solvent is governed by the certain factors so how the solute atoms it will be going to be take a positions into the solvent structure which will be depends upon the number of certain factors so these governing factors are known as hume rothrys rules for the solid solubility once again these hume rothrys rules that will be also used to understanding of the different phase diagrams with the different solubility systems or you can say for the binary systems now let us see first governing factor and that will be atomic size or you can say that relative size factor so the atomic size that will be for the solute and solvent so if the solute and solvent both are having a same size so that will be form the substitutional solid solutions if solute and solvent which will be having a different size or can say different atomic size so it forms interstitial solid solution so that will be nothing but a solid solution theory so if you want to learn in details of the solid solution theory so you will find a link in my description box for here the how the atomic size it will be responsible to form the new materials so when the difference in atomic radius of the solute and solvent is less than about 15 percentage so it is considered as a favorable size factor to form the new solid solution materials so if it will be the difference of the solute and solvent it will be less than 50 percentage so almost considering as a same size of the atomic structure you can say atomic size of the solute and solvent so it will be easily form the new materials if the relative size factor is greater than 8 of the solute and solvent but it will be less than 15% so in that case the alloy systems usually shows a minimum so that will be easily form the new materials if the relative size factor greater than 15 percentage of the solute and solvent so the solid solution formation is very limited or you can say 
if more than 15 percentage different of solute and solvent so it will be having the difficulties to formation of the new solid solution materials so in the simple way of the how the atomic size or relative size factor it will be works so up to the 15 percentage it will be the most favorable size of the solute and solvent to form the new materials if more than 15 percent it it will be having a more difficulties to form the new materials now let us see the example silver and lead both are having a FCC structure or you can say face centered cubic structure but the difference of the atomic size of the silver and lead it will be about 21 percent so that will be having a no solubility at your solid state to form the new solid solution material so by the summary of the first factors to form the new materials it will be the atomic size factor or you can say relative size factor now we were discussing with the second factor chemical affinity factor so the greater the chemical affinity of the two metals the more restricted in their solid solutions and the greater is tendency towards the compound formations so if there will be the two metallic materials like A and B so I want to make a new materials by the addition of A into B or B into A to form A B new materials or you can say new solid solution materials but in case of these new solid solutions if the affinity of the A which is higher and affinity of the B which is also higher so in that case of the both the metal atoms which will be having a higher affinity so it will be having a more difficulties to form the new materials so one of the two metallic atoms one it will be the higher affinity and another that will be the lower affinity so in that case it will be easily form the new materials so let us see with the one of the examples of the iron carbon diagram so that will be Fe and carbon to form the new materials like a steel or cast iron so by the addition of the carbon into iron to form the new materials we already know up to two percentage of the carbon it forms the steel and more than two percentage of the carbon to form a cast iron but in case of the iron carbon diagram maximum solubility of carbon into iron it will be 6.67 percentage so if the more than 6.67 percentage of the carbon so it will be having a difficulties to form the new materials so that will be the no any possibilities to formation of the new solid solutions materials so maximum solubility of the carbon into iron it will be only up to the 6.67 percentage and that will be representation onto the iron carbon diagram so in that case of the carbon which will be having a higher affinity because by the addition of the carbon it will be having the ability to form the new materials so the definition why steel so steel is defined as up to two percentage of the carbon and cast irons more than two percent to maximum six point six seven percentage of carbon so here in the case of the iron carbon diagram the affinity of the carbon which will be higher with respect to iron so it will be forms the new solid solution materials of the steel or cast iron so the chemical affinity takes an important role to form the new materials if in case of the some another materials like a and b we were already discussing that if both the atoms of a and b which will be having a higher affinity so it will be having a difficulties to form the new materials then next factor relative valence factor so a metal with lower valence tend to dissolve more of the metals with the higher valence while a high valence metal can dissolve only a limited amount of the low valence of the metal so if the both the metals like a and b once again if both the metal it will be having a valence electron like single plus one 
so that will be having a easiest task to dissolve into the another one to form the new materials but the into the outer orbit it will be having a higher valence electrons or you can say plus 3 or minus 3 so at that time which will be having a more difficulties to form the new materials so generally that will be depends upon the which kind of bondings it will be generating between the two atoms so that will be the important factor relative valence factor then next factor crystal structure factor so for the formation of the complete 100 percent solid solution of the two elements is never obtained unless the elements have the same type of crystalline lattice structure so basically in the crystalline lattice structure it will be the simple cubic kind of structure then fcc or you can say face centered cubic then bcc body centered cubic and HCP hexagonal close pack so if there will be the solubility of A and B material suppose A it will be having a FCC and B it will be having a FCC then that will be having a good solubility with each other so that will be having a tendency to form the 100% solid solution material or you can say 100% solubility with each other to form the new materials at the room temperatures but for A and B which will be having a different structure suppose in case of the A it will be having a FCC structure and for B which will be having a BCC structure so it will be having a difficulties to form the new materials of A B suppose it will be having a partially solubility or it will be having a 100% insolubility so the crystalline structure factor which will be responsible to form the new materials so here that will be the new example copper nickel system AGPT so that will be the two component systems which will be having a 100% solubility so these five main governing factors to form the new materials and that factors it will be representing as a Hume Rothery rules. So I hope you understand this theory which will be helpful to understanding of the phase diagram. So if you like this then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.